Listen, you're running out of time. Do you know that by consistently hiding your feelings for this girl, you're just setting yourself up for failure? For how much longer are you going to wait for the right moment to speak to her? Be honest. Let me just picture for this for you real quick. Imagine you were in school studying like all your other classmates do, and you happen to see a girl in your class. And oh boy, she goes to the gym, she gets A grades for pretty much all her subjects, and she has a proper smile, and she's very sweet, very kind, very caring, and oh boy, she must be the one, right? So after 5 months of not saying anything to her at all, you scroll to Instagram, and you found out that she's in a relationship with your best friend. Talk about breaking the pro code, right? I want you to imagine a scenario of you not waiting for months and maybe even years to let her know that you're interested. Imagine she actually liked you. Then you would have been in a relationship with her already, right? And you wouldn't have needed to click on this video. But because you were so scared of rejection, your fucking best friend took her away. And I'm sorry. A lot of guys like you are probably afraid of rejection. And I totally get it. It's painful and it feels miserable. Hell, I'd say even I am scared of rejection also, bro. I waited for four years. Four fucking years. How crazy is that? I waited for four years to confess to my first ever crush in elementary school. At the time, I really wanted to be with her so bad and the thing is younger me just didn't know how to take rejection. At that time I was even getting bullied by my classmates and I felt like shit. On the day when I found out that she didn't like me back, I got home and I went to my bed and I just started crying. Like I literally fantasized about this girl so much that now that she doesn't like me back, my fantasy is broken. And now I just have to face reality for what it really is. And that fucking sucks bro. I cried so many times. I experienced nights when I couldn't even sleep at all. And all you know, I was just so obsessed over this girl. And that really took a toll on my mental health. But anyway, that was my story. Now I want to help you rewrite yours. I would like to leave you with one quote that you probably might have heard of before. Rejection is better than regret. Again, you, you, you heard that so many times, but it's still so true to this day. And there's one thing that will help you more than anything, courage. Courage is feeling the fear, but doing it anyway. So whenever you find yourself being afraid of confessing your feelings to your crush, just command your legs to go up to her and speak to her. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? She's not gonna shout at you because 99% of the time, girls are generally nice when it comes to accepting that a guy actually likes them. But, nah, like, you, you, probably, you won't get shouted at bro. Unless the girl is like really very mean and so, and so why would you even want to like her anyway if she's mean? And you might think like, Oh, but why would she call some of my guys to come beat me out or something? No, nah, she, she won't do that, bro. She's not going to be disrespectful to you. That's all I can say. And the thing is, if she happens, like, if she really, really happens to be disrespectful to you and mean to you and nasty and rude to you and all that, why would you even like her anyway? If you have some respect for yourself, you probably wouldn't want a girl like that. And also, you probably wouldn't want a girl who plays hard to get. As a man, you probably wouldn't want your future wife to be playing all these games and with you, right? Of course, I understand that rejection sucks and it really, really hurts to see the girl whom you like just reject you like that. But honestly, speaking from my own personal experience, you'll stop having all these fantasies and delusions about spending time with this girl. Like all those thoughts that you have when you're cuddling in bed thinking about this girl, all of them will be lost. And you'll just accept reality for what it really is, whether you like it or not. As a man, one of the hardest skills that you have to learn in life 
is to embrace rejection. Think about the chats and the jocks in your school for example. You would think they are hot as hell with their blonde hair, blue eyes and six, six pack abs. But actually, most of them are just like you right now. They had trouble confessing their feelings to their crushes and they got rejected. And the next time they developed crushes, another crush, they got rejected again and this process goes on again and again and again and again and it never stops. It's this repeating cycle of rejection after rejection after rejection that ultimately makes them attractive in the first place. After each rejection, they become slightly, maybe not so much, but slightly more confident in themselves. So you can imagine, the first time when they confess their feelings to their crushes, what do you think happened? They were very afraid, right? They were, very, they were just like you. They were afraid of confessing their feelings to their crushes. Now imagine the 50th time when they had confessed their feelings to their crushes. They probably didn't really feel anything at all. I mean, sure, they might be a bit sad and a bit down at times, but they wouldn't be as heartbroken as last time, right? Learn to embrace rejection as a skill. Do you remember how in video games, like RPGs, we used to have these skills that we could level up, such as the strength skill or the magic skill? Now, things see life as a video game, where you can level up skills like the strength skill, and you do that by consistently going to the gym like you're doing right now. Why not treat embracing rejection as a skill that we could potentially level up in life? And by doing so, you're gonna be better off anyway. You're gonna be more confident, and more girls will probably like you, and you'll increase the chances of you getting accepted the next time. After all, it's what every attractive person like the church jocks in your school is proficient in. And so, if you want to be that attractive stud who gets all the girls, then you're gonna have to be able to embrace rejection. So don't keep shying away from, your, from rejection. Just because you're scared to confess your feelings to her right now, doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't. In fact, when you do not confess your feelings to her, guess what? You end up regretting. What the hell did I just say a few minutes ago? If you want to be a more confident person, learn to embrace rejection because if you don't then you won't have a good life and you'll keep watching videos like this where i explain how to deal with rejection technically if you're watching my video right now you're helping me become more successful in pushing out my video to the people who need it the most and while i do appreciate that act of yours this video was made for you to understand how rejecting works and how to overcome the fear of rejection and you do that by first understanding how to see life as a video game. You remember how in video games, how we can use to level up from like level 1 to level 500 and the attractive chat or the jock that you know in school, he's probably at like level 50 or maybe even level 100. But you're just at level 1. You just got started. So go easy on yourself. Fact is that if you're watching this kind of video, you probably at some point had been addicted to video games before. The thing is, you and I both know what it takes to be the top and that's by achieving higher status in the game. If you were to level up in a video game, you would achieve status. So let's take it to the current context of life. If you were to level up in life, you would achieve status. More girls would like you, more men will respect you, and the more confident you will feel. And overall, you'll feel better about yourself. Why not be the best and most attractive and most admirable and respected man that you can be by simply just confessing your feelings to your crush. If you can't even do that, then what hope is there for you to become the man that you want to be? And yes, rejection is scary. It's supposed to be scary. Rejection is always meant to separate the courageous from the pussies. Which category do you belong to? And the thing is, if you're watching this kind of video, you probably don't have a very good life. You probably are still very addicted to porn and video games and whatever. If you want to start getting rid of your bad habits and you want to invest yourself into self-improvement, which is the core topic of my channel, by the way, I highly recommend you to watch this video right here where I talk about how to curb your porn and wanking addiction once and for all. Highly recommend it because it took me one week, one week to make that video. And it will, I think it will truly, truly help you out. But if that's it, I have come to the end of this video. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.